Well, good morning. It is March 13th, 2022. It's about 5.30 in the morning. A brisk 21 degrees. We've got a beautiful sunset coming up, it looks like. Let's talk about driver etiquette and parking. You know, this truck you see in front of me is facing the wrong direction for the fuel pump. But also, he's blocking the fuel pumps for vehicles, for cars and pickups, for gasoline. And he's been sitting there for about 45 minutes. You know, if you got to do a 30 minute break, find somewhere to park. Don't park illegally. Don't inconvenient people. A pickup had already been in there. He had to back up to get out because he couldn't pull forward because this guy's in the way. And also, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that is four vehicles for gasoline. The height on that is only 12, is only um, 13 feet. Our trucks, are, well, our trailers are 13.6. He pulls forward, they've got these metal rods that are coming out of the ceiling. They're going to tear into his trailer. But we'll see how. I don't have hope, high hopes because that this guy's intelligent enough because he's parked illegally, facing the wrong way. You know, he's already been inside two or three times. But. I guess we'll find out. And we're going to go ahead and head up to uh, Rutland. Probably in just a few hours. We'll go ahead and top off our fuel and our, our def tank. Uh, diesel exhaust fluid. And if anybody's wondering what the DEF diesel exhaust fluid is, it's for the people who complain about seeing all the black smoke come out of trucks and stuff. It just makes it invisible. It's still there. You can't get rid of it. It's just the nature of the product that we have to burn to have our car, our trucks move. So, it is what it is. But yeah, we got one lonely star in the sky. But here comes the driver again. For the third time. Let's see if they pull forward. I hope he doesn't. I don't want to see anybody's, I don't want to see anybody's equipment or fuel island get tore up so, if he even moves you get a lot of this driver etiquette from not people from people that are not from the United States well, I'll say that not that I have anything against them but when you're allowed to come here and have CDL truck driver on your license from any other country, our country doesn't even acknowledge that that could even be real or not. I mean, it's just like when we go from one state to another state and, and we move. You got to get a license for that state. Well, you take your license in, they give you a new license. 
all the restrictions and endorsements that you have. Oh, he's going back up. That's good. Maybe. Yeah, he's going back up. That's good. But, um, you know, it's, it's like if I was to move from North Dakota to wherever, what other state, well, then my license would reflect what North Dakota says I have on my license, my endorsements and everything. Only thing that really changes is my driver's license number and my uh, state that I'm moving to. So, you know. Oh, there looks like there could be some clouds off in the ocean there. That's the Atlantic. About 20 miles in front of me. Pretty sure the road, the highways are pretty clear. Um, right in front of me is on the other side of these trees is I-95, and traffic has been moving pretty good on there, so shouldn't have a problem with uh, icing anywhere. But yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise, a beautiful start to another day. Sun to come up good. Hit the road. I want to be able to see the scenery. Well, that's going to do it for today. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.